Oh, hi, you caught me reading. fuzzy pink elephant, which is just about as meepalicious as you can get. Okay, now that we've introduced you to Meep, who is fun, lovely, and amazing, we'll move on to the purpose of this amazing review video thing on YouTube, Spud, by the South African author John Van Dert. Spud is a hysterically funny book about this 13-year-old boy who gets shipped off to boarding school away from home. It is set in South Africa, which is also where I'm from. Woo! And <laughs> it's filled with an array of really hysterical characters and just a tad bit of political goings-ons for that time period. Yeah, so this video will be split up into two wonderful sections. Yay! Section one. What was good Whoop. about Spud? All a little juicy niceness. And then section two. Boo. Not boo. Like, what you should watch out for, because I really don't have any solid complaints for this book. Good aspects of Spud. <laughs> the first being the characters are just hysterical. I mean, he's got a crazy grandmother. His parents are, his father's just a nut job. And then you have the school kids who are so much fun. The characters are just, it's a colorful array of all kinds of normal slash insanely crazy people. Like, And they all, all the boys at school have weird nicknames. Um, Spud's name is Spud, even though his real name is John, because his balls haven't dropped yet. Go figure. Then there's a dude named Gecko, because he's pale. Then a dude named Rambo, and Mad Dog, and Fatty, because he's fat. Not that I have anything against fat people, because I'm not exactly skinny. Then, once the characters or now that the characters are out of the way, we have Spud is 13. And most of us have been 13 once upon a time, or are becoming 13, or are presently 13. And that's great because in the world of Spud, there is so much that we can relate to. We all think our family is embarrassing and crazy, and we all have the monsters in the closet or missing underwear we don't want people to know about and we all get crushes on people especially at that age then we have the political happening of the time period of 1990 South Africa when Nelson Mandela was let out of prison happens we learn about it in this book, which is great, because in the midst of poor 13-year-old Spud's goings on of girls, and I don't want to get bullied, and girls, and school, and my teachers are drunk, and more girls, and all that kind of happening for a 13-year-old boy, we have the political aspect. It's great that you get to learn about it, and it's not like the entire book is just political 
political politics. I meant to say politics at first time, but I said politicals. Anyway, so it's not just politics, politics, politics. It's politics in the midst of life, which is how we live it, because our life is not devoted to politics as modern day teens slash kids slash peoples. I mean, yes, politics is a but we don't live our life devoted to it. I mean, unless we're training to become a politician. So if you're training to be a politician and your life revolves around politics, that doesn't apply to you. Negative aspects of Spud. Okay, so like I said before, they're not negative aspects because I really didn't have any solid complaints. I'm sure some like other diehard book critics like can find errors. But these are just things I came across that I was like, hmm, watch out for. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was that despite this being a 13-year-old boy, it's kind of written in an adultish way. I don't mean that it's full of, like, graphic pornography. I mean it's a mature way of writing that I don't know that you could expect from a 13-year-old, but then again, they say Spud. There he is singing. Won a scholarship to get into the school. So... You could expect, like, a 30-year-old man to be writing this way. But, uh, I mean, you can look past that. It's not that big a deal. Um, next thing, the sports. When describing the sports, the rules will utterly confuse you, and you'll be sitting there scratching your head, unless you know. Like, if you know all about rugby and cricket, you'll be fine. But if you're like me, who has no idea what a wicket is, it's, it, it's kind of confusing. Seriously, I like barely, I skimmed over the sports description parts. It was like, yeah, oh yeah, wicket, mm, five wickets, mm, yeah. Okay, they won! Yay! Mmm, rugby, 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 yeah, mm-hmm, rugby, five. Oh, they lost. Mm, yeah. They won! They lost! They won! Yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, if, if you don't know about that kind of stuff, it could be confusing, I suggest you look it up, because I did that after a while. So, the last, what you should watch out for in Spud, or maybe the last, is, it did have a sad, sad ending. I'm not going to say what, because I don't want to be, like, spoiler person. But, yeah. I might have spoiled something earlier. I'm not sure. Anyway. But, yeah. So, that's all for the bad things. Perfect. Yeah. Meep says read it. Unless you just like romance slash fantasy novels, don't read it, because this is a realistic comedy. So, yeah. But Meep enjoyed it. So maybe you will too. Yay! Okay, so that's it for Spud. The next review I will be doing is on a book series called Song of the Lioness by Tamora Pierce. Go read it. So you're ready. Yes, I got a haircut. You should have noticed. And all this stuff is new that I thought I'd show you. And Meat says he loves you. Goodbye, people.